Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be prepping a crushed iridescent ammonite fossil. Now this is one that if you watched uh, my previous video where you saw me sorting through all my fossils, it was the one that I found that um, it was like underneath my fossil table here and I should have prepped it quite a few months ago but I didn't remember I had it. Um, but it's still in a good shape so I thought I should definitely prep this one sooner rather than later to ensure its protection. So this is what it looks like without any prep work. So you can see just in the centre here we've got a lovely example of it's almost got red in its shell. So I think with a little bit of cleaning up with a sharp scalpel and then some paraloid this is going to come out beautifully. So you can, I'm trying to show you the colours beforehand, but if I lick it, sorry, typical geologist stuff, uh, if I lick it, you can kind of see the colours even better. I hope my camera's doing it justice because this is so stunning in person. So you can see it there, it's really lovely. And there are some other ones on this piece as well, but I think they might be a bit too worn for me to salvage. Um, but overall, this is the main one in the centre, and it's got the pro like it's got the perfect position. It's literally smack bang in the middle, and on like a plate stand or a book stand, that will just look lovely on my many many fossil shelves. Perfect, and I'm wearing the perfect top for this. It's literally a red ammonite, and I'm about to prep a red ammonite, so it's perfect. So before I prep that lovely ammonite, which I need to put somewhere safe, I think it'll be fine there. Um, I did just want to show you my amazing plant pot, so this is my uh, elf lady, I don't know what to call her, but she's a plant pot and she needs some hair. So I did buy some crazy grass that I'm going to plant in her and then this is going to be like her hairstyle. So I'm going to like cut the grass into like, I'm going to give her kind of like a fringe, maybe some layers and she's just going to be now my really cool crazy glass, uh, grass lady because for those of you who are following my channel for a while now you'll know that I have my grass man and I thought it's time to upgrade grass man to a grass lady and she is magnificent so when I plant that in the next few days of course you guys will start seeing her more often but I just thought I had to do that because this grass it literally looks like hair it is fabulous but I'll bring you guys a bit closer so you can actually see it because I just realized I was really far back in that so this is what she looks like in all her glory. So she is made to look like stone and I think she matches my fossils really well. So I really, really loved her. And just look at this grass that's gonna be her hair. Like it's so long, it's almost got some curls to it. So she's matching me a little bit. And I just thought I can actually like cut this into layers a little bit and give her a hairstyle. So I just, me and my mum saw this and it was just so perfect for hair. So when I finish that, I'll let you guys know. But I also found the coolest pot ever. Like, look at this. So I've upgraded my tools pot because, I mean, it speaks for itself, really. But anyway, that's the irrelevant stuff out the way. Let's get on to prepping this beautiful ammonite. So what you're going to need for this is a scalpel of some sort. So this is a Stanley knife, but I'll link down below some really nice craft ones you can just get off Amazon, which they just work really well. They're just nice and sharp and they're great at flicking off these mud layers from the ammonites. Then you're going to need like a brush of some sort. So I really like toothbrushes because the bristles are quite sturdy. So they just get all the dirt out of the grooves. But I also find this is like an egg white, um, painter brush for like cooking and stuff like that but the bristles on this are excellent as well so I recommend one of these and then a paintbrush and some paraloid now I forgot to make up another batch of paraloid so my paraloid is looking rather dirty but it should still do the job um, but yeah paraloid is very important and I'll link that down below as well which can work as a glue or as a varnish so it just gives that fossil a bit more of a shine but I will now bring you guys over and we can start flicking off the mud from this beautiful fossil.
Okay, so I think I've cleaned that up as much as I can using the scalpel that I do have. I was noticing that the actual strength of the shell is very weak, so I couldn't apply much pressure. So I could probably do a bit more prep on this using a needle, um, but apart from that, it's in too much of a vulnerable state for me to risk any more prep. And the beauty of Paraloid is that it's not permanent. So if I put some Paraloid on it now and... Um, want to go back at it in a you know another time I can remove the paraloid using acetone so I'm just going to open oh if I can my there we go my paraloid jar so having made sure that there's no dust on the specimen I'm just going to brush it using my toothbrush just to make sure like that and I'm just going to apply a very thin coat all over the ammonite just to really help reveal those fabulous colours in the shell. So here's the finished product, but I must say it hasn't come out quite as spectacular as I was hoping for. I think that's partially due to me not using a fresh batch of Paraloid, but also because I waited so long to prep it. So I think, you know, the sturdiness and integrity of the shell just isn't there anymore. And potentially the colours have just deteriorated over time. But when you get the right angle of the shell, the colours are in there. So obviously it's very shiny with Paraloid, but I'm just trying to show you that there is like reds in it. Can you see them? I hope. So I am really happy with how it's turned out. Oh, you can kind of see them there. So overall, this is now protected. So it's not gonna get any more damaged. And I've got to say, I do, I'm really enjoying looking at the colors in the shell. It's just really hard for me to get it to pick up on camera and do it justice. But I think it's starting to. So you can just about see it. So these specimens come in all different colours and you know some people find amazing like rainbow iridescent ammonites, I'll find one one day, but this is my little kind of red one which also is just stunning. So I'm really happy that I didn't lose it and you know I was still able to prep and preserve it. Um, it's just a more delicate specimen rather than my massive ones that you know you know exactly what they are when you look at them. Whereas these ones you know you've got to get the right angle but actually the more the paraloids drying the more, like, there's a really red halo around the outer world. My camera just isn't going to pick it up for you. I'm trying to think how to show you it. Da, da, da. Let me get my phone torch. Maybe that'll help. Is my torch going to do any anything? Maybe. So you can start to see some of those really lovely burgundies and reds in the shell. Just like that. So it has to catch the light properly, but once it catches it, it is a beautiful, well now it's not in focus, it is a beautiful specimen, like that. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll link all the products I used down below if you'd like to follow along and try and prep one yourself. Um, but no, I'm chuffed with how this one turned out. It's a bit of a different fossil, you know, these, I'm still learning with these ones, but the colours are there. I know I keep showing you, but just look at that. I feel like it is getting better with time. I love it. That's today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me prep this cute little ammonite. I'm really happy with how it turned out, actually. I think I couldn't have asked for a better result, especially because it's been literally just at the back of my fossils for a lot longer than it should have been. But I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But I hope you're all doing well. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.